good morning. Welcome back to my vlog. I'm gonna do a little vlog of the week. Just a lovely, boring one when I'm getting up to during the week. I tried to start this yesterday morning on Monday morning, but I failed miserably. I was trying to do these waves in my hair and you should have seen my hair after it didn't work out. But I'm trying to find like new ways to do my hair for the summer that would be like manageable and quick and easy. And I like this style. Also look how long my hair is getting. Finally. <laughs> What a wonderful world. This morning I have a meeting with my Going for Growth group, which was the kind of business program I did last year with so there was like a table of six of us like new businesses and we all help each other and it was like a six month long program but we've kept it up and meet every month to try and help each other and advise each other on any problems that we're having or just like anything we can help each other with because it's actually the best way to figure out problems um and get like contacts for people and stuff like that so yeah we've that this morning and then i've got a lunch event and then a call and just gonna take it easy this evening. My friend Alice is here. We just went out there to get a coffee. Alice, say hello. Hello. Alice has her Fox's Bo, Bo whiskey brand. And I go to this like talking about Clue and stuff, but I can kind of take stuff from it for everything across all the various things that I'm working on. This is our little office for the morning. This is in my apartment complex. It's actually an old church, as you can see. And out here it's it's cool, but it's kind of creepy. There's like still the floor, as you can see, like the aisle and stuff. So yeah, it's like a convent that's been converted. I got some new samples, which is good timing right before this meeting. I've got these leggings. And these, I feel unreal. This is probably my 50th sample of leggings, but the material feels like unreal. It's so nice and thick. I'm gonna try them on. Oh my god. Feel the stretch. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're so nice. Alice approves. <laughs> okay, this is them on. I'm in the reception, hence why I'm in this bathroom trying them on, but I want to give her feedback straight away. Um, the material is unreal, like they feel exactly like Lululemons. Lululemons. But um, it's like leggings, they're just something you have to wear, work out in, see how they wash. But so far, I'm very impressed. So, we've got Nikki here showing off her shoes. Oh. Don't tell anyone! Love these. These are, are brand, these are a sneak peek at Top what's coming. Yeah. I have my eye on these ones, the pink ones that are sold out, but they're back in April. And then we've got Laura with her cards. Oh my god, look! Oh, thank you for bringing these, by the way. She's not going to be leaving with them. <laughs> And we've got Fiona from I Ryan. didn't bring any tampons. <laughs> no tampons. <laughs> oh wait, you've got your, where's your hip <laughs> cloth? <class? laughs> oh, no, it's empty. It's early. I love this. Little hip cloths. Mm. Very cool. <laughs> Zero fox given. I love it. I know, so they're so cute, much. aren't they? I love like the matte finish as well. Yeah. Nice. yeah. One's unreal that you put me into. Yeah, she's brilliant. The running around continues. I had to leave the meeting early. I've got a lunch in town and then I need to shoot some pictures of my new jacket from Charlotte Simone. But the meeting was really productive. I always feel like I leave those meetings with like a million things to do, so many different ideas and kind of feeling like re-motivated. But um, yeah, it's so exciting to see how the girls have come on as well. Like we all met each other and we were fairly new, just starting off and like, like, Obviously, we're, I'm a year and a half in now and the girls, are some of them are even further along, so it's so exciting watching their businesses grow and stuff. But anyway, I better run into this lunch. Clem is the photographer today, the resident photographer. <laughs> 
I love that shirt, Tara. Where's that from? ASOS! So nice. Hello, I just did a call from the car and now I'm heading home to catch up on emails and it's already like 20 past three. The day is nearly over already. I have a mountain of work to catch up on and especially after a meeting this morning of like a list that's just never gonna end. But it was nice to get into town to see the girls and just to get out of the house. I probably should have given a bit more context about the lunch that I was at. So Grace is a journalist and an editor and she has just launched her own like tablescape service. And the first event she did was for Cruz Beckham for his birthday in the Guinness Store House. How cool is that? Like very, very cool. But um, it was beautiful. The whole set of the plates, the flowers, the napkins, just the way everything was done it was gorgeous. Okay, I'm back in my comfy clothes. I'm in my new clue jumper. These launch as soon as they arrive. Um, but I've decided after today, after our little meeting this morning, I'm gonna try and organize an event where I can kind of show off the new bits and maybe we'll do like a similar event to what we did in Galway um, with Aoife, but I'm gonna to chat to her about that this week. But uh, I'm wearing the new leggings I got delivered this morning and they are so comfy. But I know I really need to work out in them to see what they're like and wash them and all that, but I just can't do it today. My muscles are so sore from the gym yesterday that I'm going to make another protein shake. I have, where is it? I have protein from Femfields, which is an Irish brand. I had the cookies and cream one, which is my favorite. That's all gone, so I'm using the vanilla one now. And it's also delicious. So I'm gonna do that and then get, sit down and get some work done. Okay, I'm gonna be the laziest version of myself right now. Sorry, I'm just in here a little bit and do a haul without even trying it on. But I've put in a video I'll be wearing the different bits yesterday, just so you can get an idea of what they look like. So, first of all, I'll start with this pastel set. Um, sorry, I don't know if I said the reason I'm not trying them on is because I'm absolutely exhausted. Like, I actually feel like I go to bed now. I'm so tired, the weather's not helping. But um, this pastel shirt, this is a size, what size is this? Size eight. It is true to size, I would say, if not a little bit oversized. I always find River Island stuff kind of generous, but um, it's gorgeous on. It's sheer, so you need like a bralette or a tank top underneath. And I'll just show you the details of the sleeves here as well. Look at the little buttons, can you see those? They're gorgeous. Anyway, and then this is the skirt. The skirt I got in a size 10. Again, true to size, if not a little bit generous. Got an elastic waistband. Love this set, and I feel like you'd wear them both separately. You'd get loads of wear out of them. The second thing I'm wearing in the real, not today, not right now, is uh, this beige outfit. It's kind of like a suit. I feel like you could wear this to like after work drinks with the blazer, or if it was like a nice summer's day, it would actually work really well for a communion, for like a mom for a communion or um, a christening maybe. So this is the top, it's bandeau. This is a size eight, again, true to size. And there's like little slits at the side. And then the trousers I wore in a 10. On me, a little bit short, but on anybody regular height, <laughs> these would be perfect. They're really, really nice fit and really nice material. They're the River Island Studio, which I find the quality is always amazing. And then this blazer as well. So I'm gonna link everything in the description so you can have more of a look if you want to. Um, and then the last outfit was ooh, this T-shirt. This is River Island Studio as well. It's like a really nice high, high neck, heavyweight T-shirt, really gorgeous quality. And then a maxi skirt in cream, which I am obsessed with at the moment. Um, on me, it's not like super long, probably as long as it would be on everyone else, but I love that look. I think it looks so cool with like a blazer and t-shirt like I've styled it. I actually love maxi skirts so much at the moment that I bought another one. This one, as you can see, has not been steamed yet. This is from Topshop. I might put this on tomorrow and show you what it looks like. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot one other thing from River Island. The pink dress, which I think was a favorite yesterday in the reel. So I'll post the link to that as well. I also got this new top. It's a new kind of sequin shirt from Sinead Keery, the label. This is her newest addition to her range. Her pieces are all about creating like a capsule wardrobe that you can wear again and again and wear pretty much any time of the year, depending on how you layer it. So uh, this is a sheer again, so you would need like a bralette or a tank under that. Or I also think it'd be gorgeous with like a bikini. Um, or shorts or a skirt in the summer. There's so many different ways you could wear that. But I got two tops from Zara as well, which I will show you now. 
Okay, this is a new top from Zara. I actually tried this on last week, was it last week? In the shop. And the one thing I'd say about this is like, this is a medium and it's very small. So definitely size up, if not two sizes. Like I feel like I'd normally be a small on most things and I'm barely fitting into this in a medium. And they also have like double lining on the boob area. So you don't need something underneath this. Probably wouldn't wear it with the leggings, but I'm trying out these ones. I gotta make sure they're perfect, so. Also got this tank top from Zara. I know this might seem boring, but I think with the maxi skirt, the black maxi skirt, skirt that I got with like a cardigan or a blazer, this would be really nice. I don't know what I'd say is slightly see-through, but I guess most white knit materials are. But I do really like it. I love the, the neckline of this. So I like that as well. <laughs> it looks like scrambled eggs and looks pasta. looks delicious. It looks Carbonara for dinner. Thank you, Nick. Scrambled eggs and pasta. <laughs> Look at this for weather. Yuck. Yeah. 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 It's gross. Okay, I came out to get my camera because I'm drying my hair using the new GHG Duet. What's it called? Duet Styler? Yeah, Duet Style. And it literally brings your hair from sopping wet to dry. I need to show you. It's my first time properly using it, like my hair is sopping wet, and I'm really impressed with how fast it's drying it. So relaxing, yeah. A very easy way of drying your hair. already and straight and this doesn't damage your hair at all sorry put that thing off a second it doesn't damage your hair at all they've put nine years of research into it and if you hold down this button here it becomes a straightener so like when your hair is fully dry and you say if you needed another bit of a straightening over it but how happy is that like if you're someone who travels a lot like my hair is not fully dry now but I'd say another few minutes and it would be hmm, I like this that's me done. It feels so good. It's all straightened. I'm gonna sit down now. I've got a podcast tomorrow with Rachel Gary. Um, so I have my notes here. I'm gonna read over those and just kind of get prepared. I am excited to chat to her, but I'm also kind of nervous because her story is obviously really sad if you follow her. So I'm nervous about it, but um, I know her. Like she's so lovely. I've just I just normally wouldn't be like so upfront asking hard questions, not hard questions, but like difficult questions to talk about. So. I'm a little nervous for it, but I'm really looking forward to seeing her and to chatting. I'm sure it'll be a lovely conversation, as sad as it might be. And then I'm going to read my book. None of this is true. This isn't out till July. It's a preview copy. It's by Lisa Jewell. She is a 10 million copy best-selling author. It's a thriller and I reckon it's going to be really popular when it comes out because I've flown through this half of it. But um, yeah, I'm going to get my clothes ready for tomorrow too. We have an early start, so I just want to be super organized for tomorrow. I'm pretty much out for most of the day. Once I get up, I'm really in the house at like seven-ish. So I need to go get organized. So I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. I am in town. I have a dentist appointment to get new Invisalign fitted. Um, I'm, God, I, how far am I now? It's probably like six months and my teeth have moved a lot. But um, as much as that sounds like a really good thing, they've straightened up and then they've kind of moved down. I don't know if you can see this. So this tooth, they used to be in line with this tooth, they just happened to be a little bit in front. And now that it's straight, it's come down. So I, that's bothering me. I, I think I, once I'm finished the Invisalign, I'll get like composite bonding just to even them up a little bit, but it's good news. It's what it's supposed to do. Um, I should be finished by the summertime too, which is good. But um, after that, then I've got my podcast and I have a little bit of time to kill. So I might just go and get a coffee and read my book somewhere. I am just out of the dentist. I got new Invisalign and they fit so much better. And I only have eight weeks left. So I'm changing them weekly for the next eight weeks. These ones feel nice and tight. But uh, yeah, I, she said I can hopefully get the composite. Like just, if it's just the little tips that need fixing, I can hopefully get that done when I go back in in May. And then we're done. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're nearly at the end. Unreal. I am just waiting now to go for the podcast, so I might have a quick look in H&M while I'm waiting. Okay, how are we looking? I'm getting ready for 
today's podcast episode, I have my notes, I have my question cards, we are all set up in studio, just waiting on um, Rachel to arrive, she should be here in the next five minutes. Okay, so we're just finished, Rachel's here. Hello. We had such a nice chat. We did. And we're thinking it might be the first episode of our new season. Yay! So exciting. <laughs> Hello, I had a lovely lunch with my agency and Rachel. We're actually both represented by the same management and it was really nice just to catch up with them. We got some pizza and I'm actually going for dinner tonight with my sister as well. I'm more Italian, so I'll try not to get pizza tonight. But um, then I had a meeting with my accountant. All stuff I couldn't film that wasn't very interesting but all very important. And sorry, excuse me, I just came home then and did some work. Not a very exciting day, but a normal day. I am going to finish up here shortly. I'm gonna read some of my book and then I'm gonna get ready to go back into town. Another powder bites the dust. This is my third oh, product that smashed this week. It comes in threes. We got carbonara, spinach. This is tagatelli with mushrooms. Good morning, the sun is shining, just what we need. I'm so sick of the rain. I went for a bit of a walk this morning, did like 5k walk, and then I just went to the gym, but I was not feeling it like my legs after the last, after Monday, Thursday today. Can still barely walk, so I just did some arm exercises and a bad workout. It's better than no workout, that's my motto, so I'm proud of myself for going. But yeah, I'm just so happy it's sunny. I have to go home now and do some emails and then I have a press event and I'm meeting my friend then for lunch. I'll take you along with me and I'll show you what today looks like. I am just dressed to go out. Sorry, I was rushing around to charge my camera as well. I'm wearing this top from And Other Stories. It's like kind of like three quarter length sleeve. I love the collar on it. And then a maxi skirt from Topshop and some boots and a blazer. But um, I'll put in a picture. I also tried on some new bits I, tr I got from Anselin store, which is a new store I've come across. Really handy for weddings, really good prices. The reviews were mixed and the sizing is small, but it's worth it for the gorgeous pieces you can get for the prices that they are. So I'll put in the pictures and I'll put in the links. I have one blue dress that would be lovely for a wedding. One, um, what was the other one? The, like an orange dress that's supposed to be a blazer dress, but it's way too short, so I would have to wear skirt or else leggings with it and then the other one is a pink dress but it's very small on the boob area so you'd need small boobs like me or you'd need to size up so i ordered a medium in all of them and they fit like small just so you know okay um i better run out the door i'm already running late so i will check in with you in a while so i'm at lunch with lorna Hi. in our favorite spot the pepper pot and we have some cake for dessert after how good so, yum High summer press day, and they have some fab bits. I'll have to try on the bits that I picked out when I get home as well. Look at this dress, it's the same print as that dress I just showed you. I'm just so happy we're looking at summer dresses again. I love this color. And I tried this on and it was so nice on. I'll put in a picture if I can. Having a moment for jumpsuits. Look at these jackets too. So these will all be dropping over the next couple of months in French collection. I received another new sample. This is a new uh, colorway in our varsity jumper, burgundy. But the clue is the wrong color. The actual towel and kind of embroidery it's supposed to be more of like an off-white but it's really beige and then the embroidery is or sorry the border is black there's something not right what do you think i think this should be more a little bit more like whitey cream white um off-white and then it would be nice even if that was whiter and then this color was the border let me know what you think because when you're just looking at something and you're like, what is it? That's how I feel right now. I can't put my finger on what's not right about it other than the color is different than what I expected. Um, but yeah, I'm creating it for free. So 
YouTube family help me out here. <laughs> I have some other new bits that I will try on actually upstairs. I won't be lazy today and show you them on the hanger. I will actually go up and put them on. Um, I got some bits from French Connection. Um, so I will show you those now. I forgot to show you last night's activity. I built a coat stand. Well, we don't have a screwdriver, so I need to borrow one. This is not very strong. This is my second time ordering this from Home Store More. The first time it arrived broken, and the second, the, the stand down there is broken the second time. We're missing the top of it, so they have to send out another one. But um, this is actually our second coat stand since we've lived here, because mm, you know when you get like a coat stand, it's just like not sturdy enough for heavy winter coats. Well, it looks like we have another one right now. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the dresses I got from French Connection earlier. So cute for summer. But I will say their sizing is so small. So this is actually a medium, which they say is a 12, but it definitely doesn't fit like 12. So definitely size up, especially in something like this where you have like your sides out. You don't want to be like pouring out over them. But I really do like this for summer. Um, I love this color. I'm sorry, I should say this dress is 130 and it's available in stores now. Okay, so this is a really nice light jacket. I don't know what material this is, but it's so soft. And they had this jacket in a couple different colors, like a lovely beige, navy, and then matching trousers. But I paired it with this knit dress with like a slit up the side. And we're in the, the same runners again. But love this. The jacket is 100 and then the dress is 55. But the quality is like insane. It's a really nice thick material. Okay, so this is the same material as the white jacket. It is so soft. I don't know what the material is, I need to find out. But it's a jumpsuit and it is so comfy. Oh my God, I love this. I think this will be just a really handy one for like traveling and stuff coming into the summer. It is 130 euro. I'm wearing the medium and I like it. I, I would definitely not go smaller because I want it oversized. And I was with Lorna today and she got the navy one. The navy one's really nice as well. Movie time, we're at the premiere of Air. It's uh, the movie with uh, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, about Michael Jordan's shoes. What's it about? About runners. About <laughs> runners. And we've got some sweets. It's your first time in the cellar, isn't it? Yeah. Yum. Good morning. It is coming up to half eight. I'm training with Stefan this morning. And it's so sunny. Unreal. Feels like spring, finally. We are heading to Belfast later for the weekend, so I'm going to work that too, so I'm just going to finish up some jobs today before we go. Hello, I'm back from the gym. I walked to and from it as well, which I was like, this will be great, I'll get all my steps in, I'll be done for the day, but now I'm like, I have no energy, like none. I can barely move. A lot of pain. But I took some protein, so hopefully I won't be uh, like as bad as I was this week. But I'll just show you quickly my outfit. Mainly because I got new Converse, which I haven't had, like the black Converse, I think, ever. Um, not sure what I think about this outfit, but I just can't keep wearing all black, so I'm brightening it up with some pink. I'm going in to get my nails done, trying to decide whether I'll get something kind of like springtime, like flowers on the tips or just plain nude. I feel like plain nude would last me longer and I wouldn't get sick of it, but yeah. Um, actually in the movie last night, they were saying that in the NBA, they used to all wear Converse, which I find bizarre because they have like no support in them. But there you go. Okay, I'm gonna get going now. Can you hear me? I'm like out of breath even just after walking up the stairs after this morning. Oh. Oh, also I finished this book this morning. It is so good. It's not out till July, but it's so good. Like I can actually see this being really popular this summer. If you like a thriller and I could not put this down from literally a second. Like I love a book like that. That's really good from the start. You can move it anyway. So we went for kind of spring nails, just one nail. I love it though, how cute. You are talented, Susie. You're like an artist. Thank you. How do you keep your hands so steady? <laughs> I try my best. I'm home again and we are making lunch. Mm, you could use half that. Yeah. This is our avocado. Cheers. 
I swear, only one in every three avocados is actually usable. This is our salad. We've got chicken, bacon, pear, red onion, rocket, and hopefully some avocado. Hello, I just got changed there for Belfast and I recorded a quick reel. I have to go pack now, but um, how gorgeous is this dress? It's from Pretty Lavish. I will link it. I'm gonna go and get organized and get packed. Um, we're gonna try and get on the road early so that we avoid some of the traffic, but it's already 20 to four, so it's, it's not gonna be super early. We're definitely gonna get some traffic on a Friday evening, but um, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I'm excited to be up in Belfast for the weekend. We're gonna go for dinner tonight with Mark's parents and then tomorrow just the two of us and hopefully this weather stays because it's so nice. It's so nice to have some sunshine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week vlogging from London, so I'll chat to you then. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.